Hello everybody, it's someone here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Island video. Today we are here with another episode of me making tack sets for all of my horses. Also, sorry if I sound a little congested in this video, I've been sick for a couple of days, um, but we're filming anyways. Um, so first up I need to showcase a tack set. This is my horse named Aster. Um, Aster is a type of flower. Um, my sister recommended that I use that name on one of my horses, and then I did this uh, purple gingham set, and then I also added on this flower crown up top because I didn't have the purple gingham head accessory, and I'm like, that'll look cute because I'd been meaning to use that for something, and I just thought it would look kind of cute. So this here is Aster. So now we need to make some more tack sets. For my horses so let me go ahead and see what I've got I did recently I bought this lunar saddle pad from lunar islands and I also bought this um, leafy pattern from jungle island uh, and I also bought this one from forest island so I bought a bunch of the island unique saddle pads and stuff because uh, I was thinking that I can make a set with some of them so I think I want to do the lunar one so I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at my horses and find one that would hopefully look good with that oh you guys I, I have the perfect one this one this one would be perfect also ah my graphics are glitching this is going to make it not, not look as good I'm just going to rejoin real quick be right back. All right, we are back, and then I got the coat fixed, and I don't really feel like going all the way back over to the breeding center, so we're just gonna continue our tack set making here. So let's go ahead and grab our saddle pad with the lunar moons. And yes, I definitely think I made the right decision putting it on this here horse. Um, it looks really cool with the, uh, the coat as well as the mane and tail. Um, so I'm gonna see if I have any other accessories that might fit this. I mean, I have some icy black stuff, but I'm not really sure if icy black... I mean, it might look good, but I could also use the icy black for a different set. So, I think I'll just craft some tack from scratch. So, we're just going to work and craft some things, and then I'll also check the shop um, to see if there's anything else. So, I think that for this, we're going to make this horse a... We'll just have all-purpose. It can be for whatever... And then I think what would look good with this would probably be Moonstone since it's bright. And then we can do a, probably a white saddle pad I think would look nice. White and Moonstone. I think that would look good. Eh, it looks fine. And then actually the dressage might be better. Oh, I'm out of leather. I'll go to Larry. And you guys, I also checked the shop and they have an obsidian paper crown. So we're buying that. We're going to use that for this tack set. What are the chances that they had that? That's perfect. I think that obsidian would look pretty good with it. And now we're going to go to Larry and buy stuff. How much leather do we need? We'll just buy 100. So we've got that. And then we also now have a obsidian paper crown. So I think that that definitely pulls in the look. And I also have a shiny black mouth jolly ball. I don't know how I feel about the mouth jolly ball though. We're going to take that off. For auras, we definitely need a moon aura, but I believe that I moved my moon auras onto my alt account, so I'll have to grab that later. Um, but we're going to add a moon aura to this horse. And also, I'm not sure how, how I feel about the all-purpose saddle, so I think we're going to switch it to dressage. The moonstone tier, I think, looks nice, um, but color-wise, I might switch it. Actually, no, we'll keep it white. We'll switch to dressage. There we go. Because um, I can see the saddle pad a little bit better. Let's go with this. Dr the dressage bridle. White. Craft. And there we go. Okay, this is actually looking pretty cool. Um, I'll craft something for the legs and accessories. Craft some polo wraps. I think a shiny black would look nice. However, I don't have any black sea bass. So we'll probably just make it regular black. I mean, it's fine. Here we go. Craft. Craft. And there we go. Now, what should I name this guy? I think Lunar would be a pretty cool name. I wish that there was, like, more of the Lunar Moon um, style accessories so I can make a whole set with that. But 
I think that lunar is a pretty fitting name, simply because of, you know, the moon pattern. Lunar, moon. I mean, I could name a moon as well. I mean, I have another horse named Starry Sky, so I don't think I would name him that. Or I could name him, like, Eclipse. Nah, we'll go with Lunar. I might change this later, though, if I don't like it. But for now, this guy is Lunar, and we'll go ahead and lock him. And there we go. Time to move on to another set. So, I already have a horse in mind for this one, and I co-bred this with Horsey in, uh the co-breeding video up on her channel so you might remember marinara this is marinara so horsey has tomato soup and i have marinara marinara is a type of red sauce um for those of you that don't know um but you know the coat kind of looks like sauce so that's that's what we're going with um so this is marinara and so I definitely need to do something, probably a red theme. I know that Horsey added these cat eye sunglasses onto hers, and since they're twins, I feel like I need to add that as well. So that's what we're doing. And I already have this ruby saddle pad, because I think we'll go with like a ruby red theme, kind of like sauce for this. And I also have a ruby paper crown. So we'll go with that stuff. However, I'm not really sure if I have anything else red. I mean, I have this shiny red witch cauldron, but I don't know how I feel about that on the back. I think we're going to take that off. Um, I just checked a few of my storage horses, and one of them actually had a ruby mouth jolly ball. So we can go ahead and add that. I think that's cute. And then I'll see if I can craft something. I'll definitely keep my eye out for something for her tail in either ruby or shiny red because those two colors look pretty similar. Now, I don't know if I can make this shiny color, because the shiny colors usually use fish, which I don't have any of. Yeah, so I would need that red uh, fish. So I'll probably have to do some fishing later to get some uh, accessories to use for that. But for now, I think we'll just go with a regular red. I mean, it's okay. It looks fine. I think it looks fine. So marinara is looking pretty cute. Let me see. Would ooh, I could use this fire magic fade hair dye on her. On her, I think that might look kind of cool actually. Or I could just do regular red. Here I have quite a bunch, so I think that we'll use it and see how it looks. It's okay. I might be wasting this. No, actually that looks really cool. Marinara is a really cool looking horse, guys. Mariner has got, like, the fire. She's got, like, she's looking good. Okay. And the funny thing is, is Mariner was actually a fail, and we, because she's just, like, a regular common Arabian coat. Um, but it's fine. Mariner is cool. Um, so let's go ahead and craft some tack. I think tack-wise, I might make her a jumping set. I think that might be kind of cool. Color-wise, obviously, we have to do ruby. And then I don't know what color. Or what I could do is I could make it regular red. That might be too much red though. I could do orange. Would that be too orangey though? I don't know what colors I want to do, you guys. You know, white or black would always be a safe option because those tend to match with ev with like anything. So I think that will go with probably white. Oh no, I need more cotton. How am I out of cotton? And of course I have 317 cotton seeds. I'll be right back. Let me get more cotton. Okay, we're back. I just planted a bunch of cotton seeds. So we now have 605 cotton. So we are all set for a long time now. Um, and I was also thinking, and I think maybe a dark red saddle pad might look good instead of the white. Um, so I guess we don't even need the cotton now, but it's, it's fine. Um, so what was I gonna do? I was gonna do jumping, I think, right? I might do racing, though. I might do racing. We're gonna change it. We're gonna do racing. And then tear will stick with the ruby, although I could, I might change that to maybe bronze or something or copper. Um, and then dark red, I think, would look pretty good. Okay, so we've got a racing saddle here. Oh, that's, mm, I don't, it doesn't really fit with the saddle pad. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Instead, we'll just do jumping. Will the jumping fit right though? I feel like this should fit, but it doesn't. Alright, we'll, we'll just craft another dressage one. I mean, it's fine. 
Here we go, dark red craft, craft wear. Okay, this one fits for the most part. We'll just go with it. I mean, it doesn't fit absolutely perfectly, but it fits good enough. Should we give her the fancy dressage bridal? Should she be fancy? Of course. It's marinara. She's named after a sauce. Of course she has to have that. <gasps> Noah! You guys, I'm out of ruby. One moment. Today is not my day for resources, you guys. Um, so I guess we're doing this on Desert Island now. So we got the fancy dressage bridal, got the ruby tear, and we've got the dark red. And there we go. Now marinara has her tack. And we'll now be continuing this on Desert Island because I don't feel like going back. Oh, and I also grabbed some stuff from my alt account, like, in the meantime of me waiting for the cotton. Um, so we also now have some more red things. Um, I grabbed this floating star aura in shiny red, so we are putting this on Marinara, because she is a star. She's a star, you guys. Of course I had to put that. And it's perfect that I got that. Um, I also have this tail clamshell that I was thinking I could use, because, you know, it's a red item at least. However, I'm not really sure if that fits. I also have an anchor shield. No, I don't like the anchor shield. Or we could also do a tail ladybug. No, that's kind of weird. We'll just put the tail clamshell for now, because, I mean, at least it's something on her tail. Um, but marinara is looking pretty good. I could also give her a red fire breather instead of the mouth jolly ball, because I have that as well. Oh my gosh, marinara! It's like she's spewing sauce. She's spewing marinara sauce. No. No. I don't even know if I want the mouth jolly ball, to be honest. Yeah, we're just gonna take it off. We're gonna lead with this. This is marinara. She's looking beautiful. And I also realized that I do have the moon aura on my main account. It was equipped to my, one of my storage horses. And also, in the past couple days... I've gotten two more Blood Moon Auras. I got a Blood Moon Aura, like, close to when the Auras first came out. And then I recently got two in, like, the span of two days, because it just happened to be a Blood Moon when I was online, and I was like, this is great, this is amazing. So we've now got two Blood Moon Auras. And I also have to lock Marinara. I forgot to do that. Lock. Here is Lunar. We'll go ahead and equip his Aura. Alright, that actually looks pretty cool. Looking good, Lunar. And now we have to do one more horse. So I actually don't know what one I want to do next. So we're going to see. I have a bunch of this blue gingham stuff. So I could do that on a horse. Let me see what horses I have for a set. Or I could also use this perch and do... Because I have a bunch of stone accessories. Yeah, actually we're going to do this percher on here. It also has cool mane. I got it at a market stand. And I thought that the coat on the Percheron along with the mane was just lovely. So I was like, we're getting that. Um, so let's go ahead and equip some stone things because I have, I've been collecting those. We'll go ahead and unequip that because it was just on a storage horse. Okay. And here we go. Um, so this is what he's looking like right now. Oh, I gave him a head bow. I forgot he was a boy. Um, so he's running away from us right now, but I think the stone looks fine, I guess. Or I could do the blue gingham on this guy. The blue gingham's kind of cool, but it's also kind of bright. We'll just stick with the stone. I can't see. We're leaving this desert island. This lighting is so bad. We're back in better lighting, and now that I see this, the stone actually does look pretty good with it. So I think that we're going to stick with the stone. I don't really have a good aura for this, so I guess he's just not going to have an aura. And I also don't have anything for his legs in stone yet. We're still on the lookout for that accessory. So now we're just going to craft a bridle and harness and stuff like that. I think that we're going to make the tear stone. And then I also think that we are going to do a all-purpose saddle. Or you know what, we'll make this one jumping since I was going to do a jumping one, but it didn't work out. Tear is going to be stone. Color, I think that white would look nice. Craft. Quip. Oh, and d does it always glitch? Oh, don't mind the coats. The coats are glitching. Maybe the jumping saddle just does not work with the English or Western saddle pads. Maybe it's just always like that. We'll just keep it, you know, it's fine. And then we'll go ahead and craft a jumping bridle. Here we want stone craft and equip. So what should I name this guy? 
Should I name him Stone? Should I name him the Rock? I could name him Graphite. Graphite is like what's in your pencil. It's like the gray stuff that's in your pencil. I actually think that graphite would be a pretty cool name. Because, I mean, it's gray. It's a mineral. I mean, it's fine. And it's better than the name stone. So, I think graphite's pretty cool. There we go. So, yeah, those are our finished tack sets. Um, I think that they turned out pretty good. We'll go ahead and lock this guy as well. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We've got Lunar, Marinara, and Graphite completed now. Um, subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.